Archaeologists in France have discovered a mysterious, unprecedented structure, the like of which has never been seen before. The excavation took place at Marlion, around 20 kilometres east of Dijon, prior to the extension of a gravel pit in the Ouche Valley, a tributary of the Sion. The three areas excavated, representing a combined surface area of 60,000 square metres, revealed a series of occupations spanning from the Neolithic to the Iron Age. The oldest occupation was characterised by a strange monument made up of three interlocking enclosures. In the centre of the monument was a circular enclosure, 11 metres in diameter. To the north, an 8 metre long horseshoe shaped enclosure is coupled with the circular enclosure and to the south is an open enclosure which leans against the central enclosure. The presence of a layer of gravel observed in the filling of the two side enclosures reveals the existence of a palisade. The different stratigraphic sections made indicate that the three enclosures are contemporary. No comparable structure has ever been discovered. The dating of the structure still remains uncertain, however the only artefacts discovered in the ditches correspond to cut flints, which would suggest the Neolithic. The team from the National Institute of Archaeological Research of France are carrying out radiocarbon dating in the hope of determining more accurate dates. Bell Beaker period objects were also discovered just under the topsoil, in what was described as a very level structure. The finds consist of seven flint arrowheads, two archer's bracers, a flint lighter and a copper alloy dagger. Traces of iron oxide were observed on one of the armbands corresponding to pyrite, an essential element for lighting fires. Analysis of the composition of the copper alloy of the dagger should make it possible to establish its origin and provide information on trade relationships at the time. Early Bronze Age wells were also found showing habitation during that period. Studies of the clay layers at the bottom of these structures provided information on the natural environment and landscape of the valley in the first half of the second millennium BC. Between 1500 BC and 1300 BC, a necropolis of five circular enclosures composed of four open enclosures and one closed was located in the plain over an area of 6,000 square metres. The acidity of the soil did not allow the preservation of unburnt bones, so no complete burials were uncovered. However, remains of burials and a funeral pyre have been identified in the ditches of the largest open enclosure with a diameter of 24 metres. The dating of that particular enclosure was based on five copper alloy pins and a necklace of around 40 amber beads discovered deposited in a ditch. The rare ceramic shards collected in the other enclosures confirm the dating of the necropolis and the contemporaneity of the other enclosures. Finally, a second necropolis nearly 400 metres away from the one previously described was characterised by the discovery of six cremations dating from the Iron Age. Urns covered by a lid contained a single bone deposit, sometimes accompanied by ornaments, including bracelets and or rings in copper alloy and iron. These small necropolises were difficult to identify, and this is the first time that one of these has been excavated in eastern Burgundy. Studies of cremated bones are underway to determine funerary practices and rituals linked to the deposits. The results of the study revealed the presence of numerous small, relatively dense occupations in this part of the Ouche Plain. But the most remarkable discovery was that unusual three-ringed structure that has left experts baffled. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description or via YouTube Super Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.